Hey, it's Noel Christopher with Renner's Warehouse. Coming to you with a quick video. It's been a couple weeks since I did a video. I had a big conference this last week called the IMN um, Single Family Rental uh, Symposium or Forum or something like that. And it was all about single family rental space. And it's the, you know, this conference happens twice a year in Miami and Phoenix. This was in Phoenix and Scottsdale. And it is the single most, uh, the biggest conference that I go to each year for getting business, connecting with my peers, and really getting a pulse on what's going on. I think that, uh, you know, the funny thing is I didn't pay attention to any housing news last week, and I still haven't looked at any housing news. And guess what? Nothing's really changed. And I bet you if I go look at any of the housing news that's come out, there's going to be still the pundits that are out there saying that we're going into a housing crash and the world is, is you know, the sky is falling and all of those things. And there are those who says it's not. There's data, most likely, that's come out saying that things are just the status quo. There's still a lack of demand. I see it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, it's still a lack of supply. Uh, I see that lack of supply. I see that in this conference that we were in where uh, their builders are really starting to push into that more affordable area. You have investors, whether they're institutional or small or mid-sized investors, that are really hitting that, you know, that that C class, C plus, B minus type of property. So maybe eight hundred to a thousand dollars in rent. They see opportunities there a lot because there's a lot of demand for housing, and so if they can catch these homes in these fringe areas, uh, rehab them to a nice level and rent them out to, to tenants. I think there's a lot of opportunity there. Um, all that stuff about the silver uh, tsunami, uh, take a look at that logically. Read the actual Zillow report. It talks about how this will just fill a gap that is there for inventory. And yeah, they're concentrated in certain areas, but um, the the housing market will absorb that. There's not going to be a housing crash because of this. And those that are pushing that are pushing a false narrative. So right now I'm just really focused on a big push between now and Christmas on getting a couple more deals closed, getting some more uh, relationships in place to hit the new year to acquire homes for some clients that we have. We have clients that are buying all over the country right now uh, that are mid-size funds that are looking for homes to buy. And um, a lot of it is really with new home builders, a lot of relationships with those guys, and then providers, what I call providers, people who will go out there in a market that will buy, underwrite, rehab homes, and then sell them to these investors. So a lot of great stuff going on. Uh, and you know, looking forward to the holidays, but really looking forward to getting a lot of things done in the next few weeks. Uh, thanks for watching. Post a comment. Love to hear what you think and what you have going on to finish off the new year or the end of this year and start the new year. I am really, uh, I have some things I'm finishing off this year, but I'm really focusing on next year now. It is all next year. It's all the first quarter of the next, you know, the next uh, two quarters of getting product in place for the investors that I work with and working with some of the uh, funds that we have that are uh, uh, that are selling homes, that are disposing of homes, hopefully match up with some of the guys I have. If not, we've got to go out there and find those buyers, which is not a bad thing. Watch, comment, uh, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.